This is a LibriVox recording. All LibriVox recordings are in the public domain. For more information, and to find out how you can volunteer, please visit LibriVox.org. Recording by Brian Farrow, Malden, Massachusetts, December 2006. Ode on a Grecian Urn by John Keats Thou still unravished bride of quietness, Thou foster child of silence and slow time, Sylvan historian, who canst thus express A flowery tale more sweetly than our rhyme, What leaf-fringed legend haunts about thy shape, Of deities or mortals, or of both, In Tempe or the dales of Arcady? What men or gods are these? What maidens loath? What mad pursuit? What struggle to escape? What pipes and timbrels? What wild ecstasy? Heard melodies are sweet, but those unheard are sweeter. Therefore, ye soft pipes, play on, not to the sensual ear, but, more endeared, pipe to the spirit ditties of no tone. Fair youth, beneath the trees, thou canst not leave thy song, nor ever can those trees be bare. Bold lover, never, never canst thou kiss, though winning near the goal. Yet do not grieve, she cannot fade, though thou hast not thy bliss. For ever wilt thou love, and she be fair. Ah, happy, happy boughs, that cannot shed your leaves, nor ever bid the spring adieu. And, happy melodist, unwearied, forever piping songs, for ever new. More happy love, more happy, happy love, forever warm and still to be enjoyed, forever panting and forever young, all breathing human passion far above, that leaves a heart high sorrowful and cloyed, a burning forehead and a parching tongue. Who are these coming to the sacrifice? To what green altar, O mysterious priest, leadst thou that heifer lowing at the skies? and all her silken flanks with garlands dressed. What little town, by river, or seashore, or mountain built, with peaceful citadel, is emptied of its folk this pious morn? And, little town, thy streets for evermore will silent be, and not a soul, to tell why thou art desolate, can e'er return. O attic shape, fair attitude, with breed of marble men and maidens overwrought, with forest branches and the trodden weed. Thou, silent form, dost tease us out of thought as doth eternity. Cold pastoral, when old age shall this generation waste, thou shalt remain, in midst of other woe than ours, a friend to man, to whom thou sayest, Beauty is truth, truth beauty. That is all ye know on earth, and all ye need to know. End of poem. This recording is in the public domain.